Malaysia is known throughout the world for its multicultural society. It has proven to be attractive to people from everywhere. Many countries regard Malaysia as the great example of peaceful country, regardless of race and creed. At the end of the day, you'd be hard-pressed to find another country that can offer you the same heady mix of colors, culture, food, festivities and inspiration as the ones you find in Malaysia. Malaysia is a very unique country and well-known for its multiracial population that lived in harmony. According to the data by the Department of Statistics, Malaysia in 2021, out of 30 million of the population, consists of 69.8% Bumiputra, 22.4% Chinese, 6.8% Indians and 2% others. Hi, I'm Sharifa Safiya. I'm Malay. Hi, I'm Hong Jing Wen. I'm Chinese. Hi, I'm Gideon Bright and I'm Indian. We may have different skin colors, different religions, different cultures, but inside we are still the same. In this mini documentary, we would like to focus on three outstanding aspects of diversity among Malaysians. Despite the differences, all of us agree, accept, appreciate the color and diversity among Malaysians that make us so unique. Talking about food, Malaysians will never say no to the variety of food that everyone would offer. Local cuisines can range from hot and spicy Indian, exotic and scrumptious Malay food, and popular Chinese dishes. Today, I'm going to show you the varieties of food in Malaysia. This is one of the famous kopitiam in Podiksen. So, let's go! Nasi lemak is the most popular dish originating in Malay that is enjoyed by all, especially during breakfast. The rice is steamed with coconut milk and pandan leaves to give it rich fragrance. It is served with anchovy sambal and other condiments such as boiled egg, cucumber slices, fried peanuts and fried anchovies. Roti jana is another popular breakfast flat bread made with flour, water, eggs and fat. The dough for roti jana is repeatedly folded so the final product has a layer texture, soft in the inside and crispy on the outside. It is believed that the dish originated in India when the Indian laborers who migrated to Malaysia brought the recipe and the tradition of preparing this crispy pastry. Usually, it is served plain in its traditional round form, enjoyed with curries and dry gravy. Chi Chong Fun was brought to the shores of Malaysia by 19th century by Chinese immigrants from Guangdong. It is a popular street food that quickly attracted a following among other Chinese dialect groups. In its original form, Chi Chong Fun was served with soy sauce. Over time, the sauce became more varied in different parts of the peninsula. The diversity of people and ethnic city has not only made Malaysia a food paradise, it's also made Malaysia home to hundreds of colorful cultures. To appreciate the uniqueness of Malaysia, today, me and my friends are going to learn and show you the traditional dances of Malays, Indians, and Chinese. During the Wali 16th century, Joget, also known as Rongyang, was introduced to Malays in Malak. The Joget has been known as a quick paced famous dance throughout Malaysia. It redeems a catchy beat and a cheerful combination of both hands and legs moving at a fast pace. The Malay Joget dance was known as the Renta Lagu Dua, meaning interaction between couples portrayed song with liveness and cheerfulness. Kolatam is an Indian art originated from Andhra Pradesh. It is performed by using a kind of stick of an arm's length. Kolatam is a dance form in which two sticks are used for producing 
rhythmic sounds while in motion. The performer sings songs and at the same time moves while beating the two sticks. This art was originally played by the female dancer in the temple hall but it is now even performed by the male dancer as a folk art form. Chinese fan dances start out as ceremonial rituals. Fan dances represent beauty, grace, skill, tradition, delicacy, and history. They also express feelings of joy, and fans are recognized as good luck charms and expression of generosity. Even all these years, fan dances are still used at ceremonies and Chinese celebrations, such as Mooncake Festival and Chinese New Year. Now, it even transformed into unique modern workouts. The feather fans and silk fans are used in the dance that began since the Han Dynasty. Hari Raya Idil Fitri is celebrated at the end of the Muslim fasting month, Ramadan, typically on the first day of Shawwal, the 10th month of the Hijra Islamic calendar. Muslims will go to the mosque to perform eight prayer. Prior to this day, Muslims in the cities will return to their hometowns to celebrate Hari Raya with their families. The best moments during the celebration is the time spent together with families and friends while enjoying the traditional Malay food like ketupat, rendang, satay, lemang and many more. Bawali is the biggest festival that Indians in Malaysia celebrate, known as the Festival of Light. The Bawali signifies the victory of light and hope over darkness. The day starts off by taking a bath with oil and praying. Later during the day position, street fairs, fireworks and get together take place in the lead up to Deepawali and during the festive period itself. Beautiful traditional Dengori artworks column are made as both a decoration and a symbol of good luck. It is also during this time that the houses and streets of Malaysia are lighted with colourful lights and old lamps. Chinese New Year is a time when the country gets painted red as Chinese families and business would decorate their houses and streets with traditional red decorations in the age of Chinese tradition of fighting of evil spirits. It is during this period when friends and relatives are welcome to visit one another's homes, where sweet treats and delectable dishes are served, while red packets known as Ang Pao are given to the children. Do not want to miss the patriotic vibes. Gideon, Hong Jingwen and I decided to take the effort to hike up Bukit Batu Putih, the most popular hiking spot in Pordixen, together to show our love, loyalty and togetherness towards Malaysia. We can be different in so many ways, but we stand still together forever, holding to the same pillar of the country, believe in God, loyalty to king and country, supremacy of the constitution, the rule of law, good behavior and morality. Learning about our own diversity teaches us to appreciate each other because Malaysia is so colorful with so many festivals and celebrations. But there's a special day that every Malaysian celebrates to show their love to the country. The National Day, which falls on 31st August every year. You can see our flags, Dalo Gamila, are being raised and displayed everywhere as a symbol of patriotism among Malaysians.